Hello everyone. This is Ankit Jain. I welcome you all to my channel Take Journey with Ankit. Today is day one for our free LWC boot camp, and I welcome you all to in this boot camp as well. In this session, we will be learning about the web development. We will be talking about the extensions that we should be using for the VS Code. We'll also be covering the outline of this boot camp too. So let's get started with the today's session. Before we get started, a quick um, intro about me. My name is Ankit Jain. I do have more than 11 plus years of experience in the Salesforce ecosystem, where I got an opportunity to work as a Salesforce architect and also the Salesforce trainer too. In my experience, I worked on the different technologies of the Salesforce, including the Apex, Aura, LWC integration. Also got an opportunity to work on the different clouds, including the Sales Cloud, Service Cloud. Uh, CPQ and billing as well as on the financial clouds too. So in case you guys want to connect with me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also connect with me on the LinkedIn, also on the Telegram too. I will put the links of all these three correct three channels in the video descriptions as well. Again, a warm welcome to everyone on this LWC bootcamp. I have designed this bootcamp to empower the individuals who do have the passion to learn the uh, Lightning Web component. In this bootcamp, you will be empowered to build the modern and the interactive Lightning Web applications on the Salesforce. As we all know that in every project, the primary skill that is required from the individuals is the LWC. Irrespective of the applications that you are developing, most of the clients, they do want that the application needs to be available in the Lightning Web application. Moreover, in case you are looking for a new job in the market, the primary skill for every job D is the Lightning Web component. Considering all these factors, I came up with this bootcamp where you will be learning the Lightning Web component from the very basic till the advanced level. Moreover, in this bootcamp, I will be also covering the few mini projects, business scenarios. Also, we will be seeing the few advanced concepts like how you can use your Lightning Web components on the LWR side. So this bootcamp will be designed for all different types of participants. In case you are a beginner or a fresher or you are migrating from some another technology into the Salesforce or you want to take your LWC skills to the next level, this bootcamp is all for you. In this bootcamp, there will be no recorded session. All the sessions that, we'll do, that we will be having is the live coding session. The reason I believe that uh, because most of the individuals, they, do, they don't know how to actually build the Lightning Web components in the real time. Most of the times they do have the confusion whether to start with the HTML or the CSS or to the JavaScript. I believe that this live coding session will help them to understand or to answer most of their questions, how to actually build the Lightning Web components in real time, how they can approach to a problem in the real time. I will make sure that I will be covering the complex business scenarios or the real world scenarios to understand this. As I said, in this bootcamp, you will get the practical knowledge, up-to-date knowledge. Moreover, we will also make sure that we are following all the best practices recommended by the Salesforce to build the Lightning Web component. Coming toward the next part, the prerequisite for this bootcamp. I strongly believe that anyone can learn the Lightning Web component. There is nothing as such prerequisite. All things that is good to have is uh, the basic fundamentals of the web. Like it's good to have the knowledge of the basic HTML, CSS or the JavaScript. In case you don't have, that's completely fine. We'll be covering the basics of all these web technologies in our bootcamp as well. So we'll be talking about the HTML and CSS on the day two. And from day three to day 10, we will be covering all about the JavaScript from the very basic till the advanced level. In case you guys don't have any knowledge about the Salesforce platform, or you do have only have the limited knowledge about the Salesforce platform, that is also completely fine. In case you guys are Salesforce admin and planning to uh, migrate your career to the development, again, that is also fine because in this bootcamp, as I said, we'll be starting with the very basic, like we'll be starting with the syntax of the Lightning Web component. We'll be discussing the bundle structure and then we'll be slowly moving towards the advanced part. So again, as I said, it's good to have the Salesforce platform basics knowledge, but it's not mandatory. The only of the people, they just go over the recording without practicing. I highly encourage you folks, whenever you are going over any of this bootcamp video, make sure that you are typing the code with me. In case you are not understanding the code, whatever I am typing, go over the recording one more time. 
you can also raise the questions in the communities like i have created the telegram channel or you can also reach out to the different salesforce communities you can also reach out to me on the linkedin and i'll be happy to answer right but unless and until you are not typing the code you will not be able to get 100 percent from the bootcamp so make sure that whenever i'm typing the code you are pausing the video typing the code whatever you are seeing it on the screen and do the coding along with me again it will give you different advantages number one is you will be able to actually implement the lightning web components in real right once you go and uh, created the lightning web component definitely you will be encountered with a different syntax error so you will get the debugging skills as well you will understand how to actually debug the lightning web components in real time and definitely it will be an add-on learning or the real-time learning for your project so make sure that you folks are not only watching the videos but also you are doing the hands-on practice with me definitely in case you do have any question i insist make sure you use the uh, comment section of the videos or you use the telegram channel or you use the linkedin as well coming toward the next part about the boot line of this boot camp so we are, we are starting this boot camp from the month of july and we are planning to get this finished by the september in this boot camp there will be three sessions in every week again as of now we are looking for the sessions on tuesday thursday and wednesday and the timing will be 7 30 to 8 30. In case if there is any change in plan, I will get you updated on the LinkedIn and also on the Telegram channel too. So another important link that you will find in the video description is the bootcamp tracker. This bootcamp tracker, it will give you detailed understanding about the bootcamp. Let me open this bootcamp tracker. So in this bootcamp tracker, I have put the day wise plan. What all different topics that we will be covering each day. You will find out that what all the different things that we will be covering day by day wise as we are on the day one today so we are covering the overview also we will be going over the we will go over the tools and the extensions for the vs code as well as for the web development right tomorrow we will be covering the web technologies like the html and the css part and from the day three onwards we will be all into the javascript where we will be starting with the very basics and then slowly moving towards the advanced part of the JavaScript where we'll be covering uh, like the asynchronous JavaScript where we'll be covering the event management in the JavaScript as well. Not only that, we'll be also covering the string methods and the array methods too. From the day 11, we'll be on the Lightning Web Component where we'll be discussing how you can configure your environment to develop the Lightning Web Components. We'll be talking about the few important CLI commands. We'll be discussing the uh, actually the bundle structure of the lightning web component what all the different best practices that we should be following in the lightning web component how we can apply the css in the lightning web component we'll be also discussing the decorators getters and setters and you can see that i have put the multiple placeholders for the many projects too right so we'll be also working on the different mini projects and the business scenarios throughout the bootcamp i tried to cover each and every scenario that we very frequently used in our day-to-day uh, -day work on the LWC, like the shadow DOM concept or the life cycle hooks or how we can use the different wire adapters, how we can use the base components, how we can use a different out-of-the-box component that Salesforce have provided, what all the different uh, uh, what are the different ways of communicating in between the components, what are the different options to interact with the Apex from the LWC, right? everything will be covered in this bootcamp i also covered the few advanced concepts like how you can invoke the lwc from a quick action how you can invoke the lwc from the flows how you can invoke the flows inside the lwc very frequently we use this lightning data table right there are many things that we can do with this lightning data table so we'll be experimenting all about this as well we we'll also be discussing how we can use the external resources like the third party javascript file or the third party css file in this uh in the lwc boot in the lwc component right in the last we will be also covering the how you can make the callouts from the lwc moreover we'll be ending our session with a few business scenarios and one real-time project where we'll be creating this portfolio again i have added the topics based on my knowledge in case you guys are looking for something additional kindly let me know in the comment section or you can also let me know on the telegram channel or on the uh linkedin as well feel free to let me know in case you are looking for specific topic and that topic is not available in this bootcamp coming back to the slides again 
so here i put the high level overview about the different topics that we will be covering in this boot camp where we will be starting with the very basic from the web technologies and slowly moving towards the advanced concepts like the wire adapters base components lwc and flows and we'll also make sure that we are covering the lots of mini projects and the business scenarios in this boot camp too as i said we have designed this boot camp for the different types of audience so we'll be starting with the basic and moving towards the intermediate and then the advanced part in this boot camp so the different tools that you will be required in this boot camp uh, again the first one is the google chrome google chrome is the recommended browser from the salesforce but in case you guys are comfortable with either the edge or the firefox you are free to use that one as well but in this boot camp i'll be using the google chrome moreover i'll be using the few additional tools like the java 11 node js right salesforce cli most of the tools it is mandatory that whenever you have to develop your code on the lightning web component it is mandatory that you should go and uh, install those tools on your machine so make sure that you are installing the java node js salesforce cli and the vs code git code is optional but i'll in one of the bootcamp session i'll be showing you how you can move your code from your local repository to the remote repository that reason i put the git here but again it's an optional software in case you want to install it get that installed as well i will put the links of all these different tools in the video description so make sure that you guys are checking the video description as well right again i for this uh, bootcamp i'll be recommending that you guys should go and sign up the new development org in case you want to use your own development org that's also completely fine but it's better to have the new development org to avoid the conflicts with your current work in the next slide i have put the different extensions that you should be installing on your machine so you should go and install the first extension as the salesforce extension pack again salesforce have provided the extension pack in that extension pack there are 13 extensions available make sure that you are installing that extension pack another extension that will be very helpful wherever we go and learn the web technology like the html css and javascript this extension will help you to launch the local server on your machine another extension is the salesforce package.xml generator this extension will help you to generate the package.xml file which will be very helpful whenever you have to perform the ci cd operations or you have to uh, migrate your code from one org to another org so make sure that you are installing the package.xml generator as well as we have installing the git uh, on our machine to make our life easy uh, on the vs code we should also go and install the git lens as well it provides you lots of operations uh, it provides you lots of options to go and uh, interact with the git another one is the auto rename tag again this application will help you to rename the tags automatically in case you are modifying the tag uh, your end tag will be automatically modified in case you use this extension and the last one is my favorite that is the turbo console log this extension will help you to generate the uh, automatic console logs or the detailed console logs for you again how to use all these extension that we will discover as we move forward in our bootcamp right let me also go to the vs code and show you how to use all this uh, extension so the first extension whenever you have to go and install any extension make sure that you are hitting this square boxes click on that square box and this extension window will be open for you here you can go and search for the extension uh, the list that i have shared in the previous window the first one that you should go and install is the salesforce extension pack so let me go up and show you so, or let me type here itself right if you go and type the salesforce extension pack you will get the two extension pack from the salesforce you can see this is the first extension pack where we do have the nine extensions and another extension pack where we do have the 13 extensions make sure that you are installing this extension pack where we do have the 13 extensions the difference is in the first extension pack we only have the extensions uh, that is created by the salesforce in another extension pack salesforce have also added few extension that you should be using whenever you are working uh, on the salesforce on the on the vs code editor so these are the different extensions which are recommended by the salesforce so make sure that you guys are installing this extension pack with the 13 extension another one that we already discussed is the package.xml generator this will help you to generate the package.xml file let me again go back to the extensions let me remove this from here and another extension that you should be installing is the auto rename tag this extension will help you 
to automatically rename the tags whenever you are modifying any tag in the HTML file. As soon as you go and modify the start tag, your end tag will be automatically modified in the HTML or in the XML file. Very helpful uh, tag to avoid the kind of a silly mistakes that we do when we perform the coding. Another one is the Git lens. This extension will be helpful to make your life easy with the Git on the VS Code, right? Uh, in one of the session, we'll be discussing how you can move your code from the local repository to the remote repository. That time we'll be exploring the Git lens as well. So make sure that you are installing the Git lens on your machine too. Another extension that I will recommend that you should go and install the live server. We will be using this extension from the day two of the bootcamp. This extension will help you to launch the local server on your machine. Right, so make sure you are also installing this live server extension as well. Apart from that, uh, I believe we have covered the all. Sorry, the last one is the turbo console log. Uh, this extension, it will help you to generate the detailed console log. To do that, you just have to go on to the variable and press the control alt L for the windows and control option L for the Mac. This extension will help you to generate a detailed console log for you. Right, you do not have to write down everything like console.log followed by the uh, description and then the variable that you want to print. This extension will generate everything for you. You just have to select the variable and hit the control alt L. Very helpful whenever you perform the troubleshooting or debugging, this type of console logs will be very helpful for us. So make sure that you're also installing this turbo console log. When we talked about the console in the JavaScript, that time I will show you how we can actually use the turbo console log in the uh, why in the LWC or in the JavaScript files? Let me again go back to the slides. So these are the list of extensions that we have discussed, and this is what I have planned for the day one. In case you guys do have any questions, please let me know in the YouTube comments, or you can also let me know on the Telegram or on the LinkedIn as well. In case you guys do have any feedback, you can also share with me too. Thank you. Have a good day.